Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading for Pisces for 2019. Make sure to watch your moon and rising signs for a more complete picture. I will also be doing the 2019 love and work readings and I will put these into playlists so that you can watch it and link these uh, playlists at the end of all my videos. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box and links to Amazon and eBay if you want to buy these decks. If you would like a personal reading, I've put my email address in the description box, so please email me. And I've also got the email address sitting over here, uh, so you can actually email me or you can contact me via my website. Um, and um, please don't forget to watch my deck walkthrough series. You might find that interesting. So uh, please like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these uh, messages resonate with you. So I'm doing the reading slightly differently today because it's a 12 um, month spread. I have shuffled the cards and they're all random, I assure you. And I've drawn 12 cards. So each uh, pile has got um, one energy card. Uh, I've drawn an archetypal card, a uh, tarot card, and a um, advice uh, card um, from the Angel uh, Oracle deck. And uh, we'll get through all these uh, 12 months. Um, so let's begin. I've done that because it will just save time to actually uh, do the video and it won't go on forever. So um, in January, the uh, first um, card is Karmic Completion. So it seems like the energy shows you're at a 10, you're finishing a karmic cycle over there, and you're about to move or begin something new. So some karmic cycle finishing for you in January. Now the archetypal card is how you're feeling or how you're reacting and you've got the alchemist which is uh, similar to the uh, magician and it shows um, transformation and um, achieving goals. Um, you know you're setting up new goals and you're setting up new um, directions to follow. So you're ending a cycle and now you're using the um, manifestation card um, of the magician to get your goals um, brought into fruition. And um, you need to, um, the tarot card being uh, the temperance card, so there is a need for balance. You can see this is a card that is ruled by Sagittarius. So it is a planet of expansion, and it looks like a lot of your messages will be going out into the world. You've got this um, um, horseman <laughs> uh, going into the future here, uh, and he's got his bow and arrow drawn and um, he's uh, setting his goals. So he, you have, it's a month where you are going to be making up uh, your goals and you're going to be deciding which way uh, you're going to proceed and how you're going to do it. It looks like there will be somebody there to help you as well along the way, but it is definitely um, a time where you need to take advice, uh, you need to find some balance in your life, and you have to make sure that you have very clear goals in order for you to achieve your path. And... Um, the final card is uh, the Queen of Fire, which says, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself and assert your independence and creativity. So really, it's uh, a month of, of um, action. It's a month of um, getting your goals, getting your focus, and putting your plans into action. So that's for January. So in February, you've got um, a spiritual partnership coming in for you. And the archetypal card here um, is a willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. So you need to actually uh, believe in yourself. There looks like there's somebody coming in to help you uh, get through it. Um, there also looks like there's going to be a lot of hard work that you're going to have to do to get all those plans that you made in January uh, to come to fruition. You've got the Hierophant over here, so you might be uh, sorting out your money. Uh, you might be getting some money advice coming in over here. This is a card ruled by Taurus, as you can see. Uh, them sorting out this golden bull and all this money. So there might be some money coming in for you, and it's also sorting out your money so maybe getting your banking um, details in order even if you've got tax returns to do that looks like what's going to be happening over there the hyphen dealing with institutions uh, of money so banking uh, um, you know you might be actually speaking to a banker or, or getting a loan something to do with a lot of money you could also be getting some financial advice uh, in how to handle your finances and the last card is uh, the Six of Air, which says things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, and taking a trip. So this is pretty um, 
uh, positive because you look, you can see this uh, horse moving away from any kind of problems that they had in the past and you're finally coming out of any uh, problems that you've had in February. So in March, you've got follow your dreams. So whatever plans you uh, have put in place, uh, whatever ideas you need to follow your dreams, and that's the energy of that month. The archetypal card is the mother card, which says uh, nurture, patience, unconditional love, and joy in giving birth to life. So it looks like you're, um, you know, maybe if you have children, you're spending a lot of time with them. Maybe if you're um, pregnant, you're giving birth during that time. But there's definitely a nurturing air that's going to be around you, looking after things, taking care of things. And you've also got the Empress following it. So it looks like there could be a birth. There could be some kind of thing that you give birth to. It could be a new project that you give birth to, but definitely an air of uh, productivity. Like I said, this could be, well, a pregnancy. You've got two cards, the mother and the Empress, and it's all ruled by um, Venus. And it looks like a very productive period for you. So whatever plans you put into place starts producing a lot of results in March. And you've got the Magician card over here as well. So you are ready. You have all the resources and the ability to manifest them. And life is magical. So it's a really, really productive period, a uh, very positively productive period um, in March. And it looks like whatever plans you put in place in January is now all coming to fruition. It means you are going to start seeing big results in March. So in April, you've got a lot of communication going on over there. That's the energies of that month. And um, you've got um, the Samaritan, refine your capacity to help those you prefer to ignore. So it looks like you're going to have to give back into the universe. Uh, you know, you're going to have to do some, maybe some charity work, maybe help somebody that is in need. So you're going to have to play that role of the Samaritan. You've got the four of wands over here, which is showing that um, you know, you've got, um, everything seems to be working out pretty fine. Just watch out, there could be hurdles. You can see this; these people have their backs to each other here. So there might be uh, little arguments going on over here. But all in all, this is generally a card of uh, getting things done. You've got uh, uh, Venus in uh, Aries over here. So your focus is going to be a lot on your work and establishing um, your... Uh, it's a, it's a part it's a time where you um, become very stable so the four fours are usually stability and you are going to be very focused you, you want the better things in life because you've got Venus here and Aries uh, Venus in Aries showing that that's what you're going after you're going after it um, you know very passionately um, following your your um, your dreams and trying to make sure that you get your stability in order you've got the chariot over here which says an important achievement, self-discipline, willpower, and public recognition. So with this um, Venus in Aries, it looks like, you know, that's where you, what you want. You want that public recognition. And with the chariot card, it's showing that you are going to get some important achievement coming through for you. Uh, and But you have to um, exercise a lot of self-discipline during that time. So uh, everything, you know, coming and also recognition coming in, in April. So in May, we've got... Um, happy endings. Um, so it looks like uh, something, uh, you know, maybe a cycle coming to an end, maybe an old, the end of old uh, obstacles or, um, you know, old problems coming to an end. And it's going to be a really nice happy ending for you in May. Um, you've got the Midas versus the uh, Miser over here. So you need to actually um, watch your finances. Don't go about spending it. It says, um, uh, entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold. Um, delight in sharing it uh, with others. So you've got um, a time where you're, you know, you've been working really hard. You've been manifesting everything, everything coming uh, to fruition in April. And it looks like in May, you're going to start, finally see some financial rewards from it. Uh, make sure you're not um, uh, hoarding, it says here, because money has has to come and go. It's got that, uh, you can't hold on to money. Money needs to breathe. It needs to come in and it needs to go out. Um, so make sure that you are giving it, uh, because it's like a living thing. You've got to, uh, you can't restrict it. So make sure that you are giving it uh, enough um, um, importance or making it feel good, rather. Um, so, uh, you know, they say that you, you send out money and it goes out into the world and it brings back all its friends. So by giving or being generous, um, you know, that's the way you're going to be able to attract money. So that's the Midas um, 
energy coming through over there um, so anything you touch is turning to gold over there so a lot of financial rewards in may so that's pretty good you've got the two of fire over here you've come into your own new partnerships contracts and continue to move forward so whatever projects you have you will be working with somebody ho over here uh, and whatever uh, you have put in you are going to see a lot of returns on um on whatever uh, energies you have put into your work it looks like there's also a new partnership going on and maybe it's the beginning of a new project. You've got the three of wands over here. So you start off with the, the two of fire, which is like the two of wands, and it goes into the three of wands. So whatever project you start working on is going to be highly successful. You've got sun in Aries over here. You're going to get a lot of recognition with this particular card. Um, it's established strength. That means that, you know, it's going to be something that starts lasting. It's not a fly by night thing. It's now something that you can start working and it's going to produce a lot of stability and a lot of benefits and that's coming in May for you so in June we've got um, the energy of time out so after all this work in the first six months it looks like you need to actually take a little bit of a break in June you've got the um, 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 the card of the Messiah, which says serving humanity uh, with humility. So don't let all the success get to your head. You need to, uh, you know, be a little bit humble uh, and make sure that you know you're giving back uh, from, um, you know, from all those people that you have um, needed. Uh, to get this achievement, you need to also um, help them out. You've got the Sun card over here, which says, you know, whatever you do is going to be extremely successful. So you're you're really coming to your own over here and making, you know, it's a lot of success coming in for you. And the last card is the Ten of Earth, the very happy family life, financial security, uh, finding the magic in the little things in life. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty good first six months over there with the Ten of um, earth of year it's a great achievement you're going to have financial security the 10 of um, earth is usually a sign where you can actually even have enough money to leave legacies to people so you know uh, leaving inheritances to people uh, because of the financial security that you achieve so all of this coming to you uh, fruition by june so let's see what goes on in July. You've got a big change coming in and the five. So after all the stability and the growth, you've got this big change coming in here for you. And um, it's uh, you've got the seeker. Um, and this is showing a thirst for wisdom uh, and truth. So it looks like, you know, you um, might end up becoming a little bit bored uh, or, um, you know, a bit... Um, like you need something different and you can see this man's going on off into the desert looking for something different so uh, all of this um uh, success might mean that it spurs you on to do something different so they're following a different path and looking for something different but you're still uh, spending a lot of time uh, working you've got um, the eight of pentacles over here really trying to if anything is going wrong you're fixing and sorting problems out you're working to time limits but you're also accumulating a lot of money and you are um uh, you know, you're you're becoming an expert at what you do. Uh, it seems like, you know, you are going to be in demand because you are that expert. And you've got the sun in Virgo over here. So you are spending a lot of time and effort on your work and being very focused on it. And the last card is the Ace of Earth, uh, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents. So it looks like there's a change coming in for you. And it looks like you might, after whatever you've been doing, until June, uh, you know, you uh, spend a lot of time um, developing it. And then in Ju July, it looks like you decide that you want to make some sort of change in your life and you start something new. And this looks like it's going to bring in a lot of abundance. It's going to mean a lot of hard work, this new thing that you're doing or this new path that you're doing, but it brings in a lot of abundance. So in August, we've got a lot of personal growth here going on. And uh, the archetypal card is a teacher. So you've now become the expert and now you're becoming the teacher here. Ability to communicate knowledge, experience and skill and wisdom. So whatever you've learned in that first six months, you're now putting it out and giving back to the community or giving back to the world. You've got the King of Cups over here. So um, this is the card ruled by Cancer and it's a counselor, father, protector. So you're taking on that teacher, protector role um, in... Um, in August 
and um, you know you're taking on that role almost as cancer, uh, the can sign of cancer, uh, and you're taking on that uh, teacher role where you're sharing with people, and this is the thing that's allowing you to do a lot of growth, spiritual growth as well. So it seems like you've come into your own and you're taking a new direction, a new view in life. You've got the Knight of Air over here that says things, uh, events that occur at a great speed take time to carefully review your options and creative solutions. So a lot of communication with this Knight of Air uh, and it's a lot of information that you will be giving out. Um, you've got intelligent, decisive, idealistic and tireless. Uh, it seems like you've got a lot of focus on this teaching job and you're taking on that role as being somebody now that educates the world or educates a lot of people. So a different t a twist a change of events here so you are achieving a lot in the first six months and then it seems like you do a little bit of a change and you um, undergo um, some kind of uh, a spiritual revolution where you now want to give back to the world um, in um, September you've got the health card over here so it is something that you need to watch out for so make sure that you are looking after yourself all this kind of work can cause a lot of stress so make sure you are looking after your body you've got companion over here so um, there are there's somebody around you that's going to be there if you're single uh, you might be meeting somebody new or else it this could be your present partner and this provides somebody who is um, very loyal to you um, the second card is the Nine of Wands over here. So you can see uh, still a lot of um, hard work, uh, but it says boundless potential over here. You've got the Moon in Sagittarius. Uh, with Sagittarius, it's... Um, a lot about expansion it's the card ruled by jupiter but with the moon in it it's talking about spiritual uh expansion and uh education uh usually the moon in sagittarius talks about higher education or higher learning or teaching so it seems like you're going to be spending a lot more time doing that and uh expanding other people's horizons you've got the six of water over here it's uh, memories of your history of childhood uh issues regarding children and romanticizing the past so uh, something happens where you have uh, a time where you're spending a lot of time reminiscing about the past. You might be spending a lot of time with children. You might be teaching children. So this could be a case where you're actually giving back and teaching children and causing their expansion. So in October, you've got love coming in here. And uh, this is really good. So uh, this might be, you know, companions turning into lovers. Um, you've got uh, dilettante which says delights in art without having um, a profession alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits. So it looks like um, you are going to be, um, you know, there is an artistic uh, twist to this tale. It seems like, you know, you are getting to be more um, esoteric. Uh, you're spending a lot more time appreciating the beauty and things around you. Um, you've got the chariot card over here, so there might be some home move coming in for you um, in October, uh, moving away from an old place. And also with cancer, uh, you know, we're talking about uh, a very caring, nurturing role coming in for you. You could even be buying a new car, so or spending a lot of time with family. But usually with a, ca a chariot card, uh, we're talking about achievement and we're talking about home moves. And the last card is the four of air, time to rest or take a vacation, allow more time before making a decision, meditation. So uh, you do need to actually have a break in October. Make sure you're getting some rest because it looks like, you know, if you carry on working at this pace, there's a bit of burnout going over here. So you might be taking a trip with family uh, just to get a little bit of a rest, uh, get some, uh, some downtime. So that's important in October. <coughs> in November, we've got um, a spiritual career. So it looks like you've uh, concentrated a lot on finances and now you're going to more towards the spiritual side of things. Um, you've got a liberator over here, freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs and re releasing negative thought patterns. Uh, so it looks like you know, you're heading more towards um, your spiritual growth and development. You're uh, having a lot of insights and you are freeing the minds of other people as well. You've got the Eight of Wands, which says uh, fleeting force. So there could be something coming in news that's a little bit upsetting here. Uh, you've got Mercury in Sagittarius over here. So something that's causing a little bit of drama in your life, uh, coming in quick and sharp. Uh, maybe people are uh, restricting you 
you maybe you're feeling that you know you are coming up against people's other people's spiritual beliefs and you're not really happy about it but there's a lot of forward movement over here and it looks like you know um, you will get through it because this is just a fleeting energy but things start moving very rapidly over here you've got the five of air over here so uh, an unwise choice learn what you can from the situation and review everyone's motives so it looks like you're going down the spiritual career you you seem to be wanting to say things to people to because maybe you've had insights and you want to express these insights but it doesn't seem like people are going to be that keen on listening to what what you've got to say you know you've got to present it in a different way um, you know, change takes time. People don't like to change ideas and views and values. So there might be some people that are not really too thrilled with what you've got to say. Uh, so make sure whatever you're, you're saying or whatever message you're presenting it, uh, you know, um, don't be too aggressive in presenting it. Make sure you're doing it uh you know, with kit gloves, really. So some sort of spiritual transformation happening for you and you want to go down some sort of spiritual career in um, uh, November. So December coming up, you've got um, compassion and uh, you've got child nurture. So, uh, you know, maybe uh, with this, uh, a little bit of uh, drama going on in November, you have, you learn how to, uh, you know, be more compassionate and understand where other people are coming in and see other people's views. Uh, you've got the child and nature, which says friendships with animals, communication with nature spirits. So here again, um, you know, communing, communicating more with the divine and becoming more in touch with the world. So you're developing this really uh, higher um, expression or higher understanding of life. By, no, by December, uh, you know, you've almost come full circle where you've uh, moved away from the material world and moved away more into the spiritual world. You've got the Tower card coming in over here, so a big change as well coming in over here. This is the card ruled by Mars, so something big happening that is going to uh, produce a lot of drama in your life. And you've got the Five of Earth over here, so something happening uh, that might have uh, some financial implications, uh, a big uh, shake-up over here with your money, uh, and you might need to accept help from others as far as finance goes. So although you've been making uh, you know, a lot of moves uh, in a very positive direction, uh, just watch out in in uh, December, uh, it looks like, you know, you may have to make sure that you're keeping money aside so that if there's any kind of financial loss or, in, or risky investments that you make, um, you know, you do have money um, kept aside uh, for that uh, eventuality because it looks like there's some uh, drama coming in with a tower to shift energies over here uh, that causes uh, some issues with your finances so uh, I would suggest make sure that you are always have a good financial plan because I mean these uh, energies are not set in stone so you can change them the five of earth itself is a um, minor arcana card so you can actually have money aside so if you have any problems now with the tower it comes in and it is a major arcana card these are events you can not control but you can uh, you know make sure that whatever the outcome is um you know it, you uh it, you soften the blow if you put it that way so this is the readings for um uh, um 2019 it looks like there's a lot of growth uh, that comes in from uh, january where you start making plans you start getting successful uh till about june uh you know and then you're very established it seems like you take a little turn uh, and go towards the spiritual aspect of life and that seems to be developing and you develop into uh, the teacher role uh, and now you start looking at things on a bigger level uh, and have a big insight uh, and like I said if there's the tower coming in in December make sure that you have all along uh, made financial plans um, and uh, so that if the tower comes in in December you are well prepared for any kind of outcome. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you and uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and watch your uh, finance and love readings and I'll put those uh, links down in the description box. So thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.